Tonight in Good Health, researchers are taking a close look at the long-term safety of in vitro fertilization. A new study shows there may be links between IVF and certain birth defects, causing increased concern about among couples trying to conceive. Elizabeth Rowe is an avid traveler, but the one life journey she wanted the most wouldn't happen as she hoped. You look around and you see all of your friends are having babies and you want that, you want that love. She has a condition called endometriosis, which can lead to infertility. In vitro fertilization was her only option. And like thousands of American families, she decided to take the emotional and expensive path to pregnancy. Of course, I'm concerned about my body, because you're pumping your body with all these hormones. Um, and it's a lot of hormones, a lot of injections, a lot of medications, and you don't know what's gonna happen in the long run. And now, new concerns to complicate an already difficult and sensitive decision for families. In two studies, researchers say larger than normal babies and babies born with congenital heart defects may be linked to IVF but they say further examination is needed. Still, those studies coupled with what happened in Cleveland back in March when storage tanks holding thousands of eggs and embryos malfunctioned have prompted more patients to question their IVF decisions. IVF is not without its risks. Dr. Lowell Koo, medical director at Dallas IVF, says many of his patients have brought up the recent headlines. But as of right now, IVF is still the most successful form of assisted reproductive technology. Luckily, we have a lot of mechanisms in place that will protect both the embryos, their future, and increase their chances of getting pregnant with a healthy baby. Our goal definitely is a healthy baby, and we will definitely help them with that. He says the storage tank failures are rare, and facilities are always inspecting their policies to make sure they are as foolproof as possible. Genetic screening of embryos also helps prevent babies born with birth defects. He says right now the biggest risk with IVF is that it doesn't work. We went through three rounds of IVF, which is a lot. It's a lot on your body, uh, physically, emotionally, financially. This just right here is this little... <laughs> They're all special to us. We ended up going to a clinic in New York uh, for our third round, and that was our successful one. Elizabeth is now five months pregnant and doing everything she can to have a healthy pregnancy and, of course, a healthy baby.